Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Handbook. Today as always we are in our survival world and of course this is the series where I teach you guys how to play Minecraft. Now today I want to do a more of a not necessarily exploration video but uh, you know the basic kind of um, side stuff that you can do to the game. Um, so obviously right now I'm fishing and I've been doing this a fair amount, obviously we spent a lot of time recently on the docks and uh, as I said I also fixed up the beach and it, it, in my opinion it does look really nice in comparison to a lot of things I build usually, I apologise about my voice going there, <coughs> um, yeah it's, it's a lot um, nicer than what I'd normally do and I definitely um, have enjoyed fishing. Uh, if you guys don't know about fishing, um, I highly recommend it. Um, you can get so many things. Unfortunately, with the 1.16 update, they decided to patch something which was absolutely incredible. Uh, you used to be able to um, use AFK fish farms. You could go to work, do anything you wanted to, leave your Minecraft world running, and it would automatically collect fish with all of the um, other stuff that comes with it. Um, but unfortunately that's been patched. I mean it wasn't something I wanted to do in this world anyway as it does kind of go along the lines of cheating a fair amount. Um, so yeah, this is fine. Um, anyway, I've been manually fishing. Um, I'll put a loot table up on the screen and it might not make a lot of sense um, without further explanation. I haven't obviously got it in front of me so I can't explain it too well. But there are certain weightings which are also, um, you know, uh, decreased and increased based on the enchantments you have on your fishing rod um, and obviously the weightings are kind of how much chance you have to get that kind of item um, so yeah as you can see I've got a few items in my inventory but um, the majority of them are actually in this here um, so these are barrels for any of you that didn't know what they were um, there's, yeah we've got a whole bunch of name tags we've got some cool bows I got this bow which I think is virtually perfect besides needing powerful but luckily we got ourselves a powerful book um on top of that we also got a mending book which is actually amazing um for those of you who don't know what mending does essentially say i use my pickaxe and i mine some diamonds obviously diamonds give you xp and that xp will repair the pickaxe because it gets sucked in by the mending enchantment um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, it means that you get things like tools um, and bits that never need to be repaired as long as you can get sufficient XP. Uh, so, you know, what my plans are now is probably we need to do an XP farm at some point. Um, but for the moment, we're not going to be focusing on that kind of thing. I'm also going to take some name tags with me, um, just so I have them. We're going to go up here though, into the enchantment center so we can apply these great enchantments so we're gonna put the bow in put in power four and there we go i'm not entirely sure if i want to call it anything um i might just call it something silly like uh pack a punch yeah i'm happy with that i mean it's got power and punch on it um oh and the anvil just broke <laughs> Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we can just come down here, and if we go down, we can go and get some iron from the chests, and we can build another one. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I built the anvil on camera last time. Um, let's check the furnaces just to make sure there's none in there. It doesn't seem to be. And we need a 27 plus 4, I think. 31 it should be, because there's 3 blocks, and then 4 left over so yeah we just place it like that and then three blocks of iron on top and we get ourselves an anvil let's run this back over to the um enchantment hut definitely <laughs> a little bit frustrating having to move around but i do enjoy the whole kind of moving about the village it feels a bit more lively i definitely want to put some more stuff in though um so it's not quite so barren um right let's open that up and then that was a mending thing we can put that on pickaxe and there we go um so we have some name tags as well those can be applied to animals um it will stop them from despawning for certain types and i think that kind of gets on to today's episode what i'm going to be doing is i'm actually going to be trying to get ourselves um both a cat and a dog 
um, just because they're pretty cool, they're pretty cool pets to have, um, and yeah, I mean, uh, dogs will fight off all mobs besides creepers, and cats specifically do creepers, um, right, we're gonna need to come down here actually, and we're gonna grab ourselves, um, some fish, and I'm gonna go with raw fish, I'm pretty sure it has to be raw fish, I'm not sure you can get, um, go without it being raw fish, and then we need to go into our chest room and go to the mob drop section and we need to grab ourselves some bones so obviously the raw fish is what attracts cats and the bones attract dogs okay so you've got 64 of each that should be more than enough uh, i'm gonna put those into my inventory for now and yeah obviously it's getting to night time so i'm going to sleep and then i'll cut back probably somewhere over in that direction so see you in a sec and there we go guys so wolves only spawn in forests um hence why that the spruce forest counts but this wolf literally just spawned in front of me i've been searching around here for ages i didn't want to bore you guys hence why i cut straight to it let's try and tame him we just gotta right click on him with the bones there we go we got ourselves a little doggy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. And obviously, you can right click on them so they sit down, or if you right click on them again, they stand up. Um, so, two wolves between the two, if they stood up, they'll follow you. If you go too fast for them, they will just teleport to you. Um, I'll try and get an example of this where, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but they, yeah, that's pretty cool. They'll protect you. They'll also, um, say, hit this pig up here. Uh, my dog should come along and uh, attack it there we go now I don't want to intervene um, because I want the dog to do that but I'm gonna give it some food just to uh, give it some health now we got to think of a name for this dog um <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure and so, unfortunately, my screen recorder crashed all of a sudden, so, um, yeah, that didn't, didn't go great, but let's just, uh, dye the dog's collar, because if you use a dye, you can make them any colour you like, and so we're going to go with purple, um, I think that looks pretty cool, and, of course, we have the name tags that we got from fishing earlier, so if we go over to the anvil, and we place one inside, we can name them anything you want so um you know i think i think we've got a girl dog here so we're gonna call them uh, laura just so they have a name um come back where are you going sit down there we go and as you can see the name displays above them when you look at them okay so we're gonna bring them with us um and we're gonna put them on well inside the house just so they've got somewhere nice to kind of chill out um, and bits like that obviously if they're inside they also can't get attacked by mobs um <laughs> i'm not entirely sure why there's a lighting glitch going on um but they look like they need a wash <laughs> oh dear right let's uh let's head to the nether portal obviously i'm going to go all the way to uh the jungle because the next um, next pet to get is a cat and those are only found there so yeah I'll see you in a sec alright so we made it over to the jungle and I haven't actually seen any cats yet but one of the things that do live in the jungle is parrots now if you right click on them with seeds there is a chance that they will be tamed as well um, parrots can be annoying that's the only thing I have to say um, they do things like mimic um, the noises of mobs um, which, you know, when you're in your base uh, and you forget that they're there, obviously it gets a little bit annoying, I have to say. Um, you know, you don't really <laughs> want to be completely terrified um, when you just go through like your chests and bits like that. Um, but I will try to get a parrot, I'd say, um, just simply because, uh, you know, I think you can get them to sit down. And if I can, I'll probably get them to sit down inside. Um one of the less used houses so they're not in the way but i'll still have them uh, i'm not entirely sure where that one just went though um it looks like it's gone up there uh yeah i'm not entirely sure how many seeds it takes either 
Um, I don't want to get too distracted from our goal of getting a cat. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to hit it. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, okay. Let's keep on getting seeds. There we go. And look at this. It sits on our shoulder. E. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Obviously, um, I think if you move too fast, they don't sit on your shoulder. Um, they get popped off, but then obviously they uh, attempt to follow you and then sit on your shoulder again when you stand still. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the cats will be. I imagined that they would be on the bottom down here. Um, I haven't seen them as of yet, and I'm really kind of traversing far into this. Obviously, the faster you move, the more noise you technically create and scare the cats away. Um, but obviously, I don't want to be walking through this whole forest forevermore. Um, I have seen cats here, though. So, I know there are some about. Um, unfortunately, those were when we first visited the jungle and bits like that. Um, let's just come over here. Uh, you know, it might be worth me jump cutting very shortly um, as I don't want to bore you guys with just walking about um, trying to find them but yeah I mean technically a cat is known as an ocelot when it's untamed or at least that's how it used to be um, they have updated it slightly so the cat variants can be found in the jungle just not tamed um, I believe is how it goes um, right I've got to stop saying um as well. I've realised I've said that a whole bunch um, when editing my recordings. Ah, uh, just not good. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's keep moving. There's a cow there. There's. Are you, will you pass as a cat if I ask you to? Can you cue me out, please, sir. No. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's let's keep venturing on, and I think I will cut it here just to save you guys from having to watch me just stumble through this jungle and I'll probably cut back once I at least see a cat if not tamed it um, no I'll probably tame it on camera so yeah uh, once I find one I'll cut back okay so I haven't found cats um, but I found something just as cool uh, we're not going to be able to transfer it back to our base unfortunately as we don't have a never portal set up quite in this region but look at this guys it's a panda and a baby panda I don't want to get too close because I know that the mother pandas are very protective over the young um, and I'm not sure if it's whether you get within too close or whether it's whether you hit them. Um, I just realised I've been trying to get the mycelium um, by using my shovel but that's not silk touch. Uh, if you want mycelium we should be using our silk touch which is on our axe so that's kind of lucky. Um, that's great for building pathways and things like that. I would definitely probably use it in my pathway building. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not terribly exciting. Um, it has the same properties as what you'd expect. It's basically dirt, just different texture. Um, so I'm going to grab quite a few of these. I'm not going to bore you guys watching me grab it all. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue the lookout for cats and I gotta apologise this has been a very jump cutty kind of episode um, I'm not too sure if that's going to be annoying for you guys I uh, know it's certainly going to be annoying for me trying to edit it all and put it together but yeah there we go alright guys so we found a cat but he's being guarded um, let's make sure that this skeleton doesn't get in the way now this could be a little bit of a problem as I don't know if the noise will have scared him off um, a bit too much but let's hold some raw fish out and see if we can get them to now you can't move too close to them you have to let them come to you we got it first try I never thought that would happen uh, okay that was that was pretty cool and we're not too far from the village I don't think um, yeah there we are so that must mean that we've just got to get up there where have we got to go we've got to go that way to get to the portal 
Um, yeah, guys. So that's kind of super awesome. We've got ourselves both a dog and a cat, and we've also got ourselves a parrot. This has gone way better than I kind of expected it to. Though I'm not too sure where the parrot's gone. Where where is the parrot? They're not sat on me. Did the parrot die? I didn't think it did. We've lost the parrot, guys. That's kind of annoying. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> um, well, on the bright side, we still... Whew, I thought we were going to fall then. Um, on the bright side, we still managed to get ourselves both the dog and the cat we were after. Um, I'm not too sure what I managed to do here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, that could have gone much worse than that. I was kind of lucky to escape without dying. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go back to the base. Once again, I'm going to cut the episode and I do apologise about that. And I'll see you back at the base. Alright, so we are back in the overworld and we brought ourselves the cat with us. Now, we've got to think of a name for this cat. I think I think this looks like a Milo. I think I think we've sorted that one. Um, let's jump in here and we'll name Milo. There we go. And we only actually want one. Oh, that could have gone very wrong. Uh, there we go. Much better. Um, and then let's get rid of the gold boots. Put them back on. And I do appreciate the fact that the episode is kind of dragging on a little bit now um, so I don't want to spend masses of time but we are going to go down here and we'll quickly gather ourselves a few bits um, we're going to need a pumpkin and we're going to need to go over here to the iron chest and we're going to grab some iron now we need 36 iron because we're going to make 4 blocks and for those of you who have already worked out what I'm doing uh, yes, I am making an iron golem. Um, so what we're going to have to do is probably come up here. I should probably make a name tag for him as well. So he doesn't despawn. Um, I'm not entirely sure where Milo's gone already. Uh, did I trap them inside the house? Hmm. Okay. Um, let's... Because they're going to be like a policeman, I think we'll call them Bobby. As that makes the most sense. And there we go, Milo's out here. Didn't even realise. Uh, let's put them in a standing position. And I probably want Bobby to be down here on the beach because I think that's the best place for them to be. Um, let's place that, then we get the pumpkin and on top. And does it. Oh, you have to shear the pumpkin now, don't you? In order to get um, the face. I haven't. I haven't done that before, so yeah, that's all sort of new to me. I don't have any shears down here. Oh, that's annoying. Um, where's the best place? I think I've got shears up here. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go on a massive wild goose chase just for some shears now. Um, I mean, it does save me going down into the little basement bit down there to the chest room and getting ourselves um, shears made of iron it like that there we go and then there we go we've got Bobo uh, Bobby and Milo <laughs> awesome and he should probably just roam around this area um, he'll obviously go wherever he wants but I'm hoping he'll kind of stick to this area and look after it obviously if we have any mobs down here uh, he'll hopefully take them out pretty promptly but that's kind of it for this episode guys thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed um, I hope you've learned something, um, or at least you found it entertaining. <laughs> um, I've just trapped Milo outside. Come on, in you come. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one.